This vandalism happened in an alleyway behind the Hillel house. Now, for many non-Jewish people, the damage might have been nearly unnoticeable, but for Jews, the damage and the message were hard to miss. For many Jewish people, it's the first thing they see when they arrive at a home or building tied to their faith. A mezuzah is a piece of parchment inscribed with verses from the Torah and placed on doorposts. The tradition is to kiss it as or touch it as we go through doorways. On Monday, students arriving for morning prayers at Northeastern University's Hillel House found the mezuzah's case lying on the ground in pieces and the parchment missing. For the center's director, this fits a pattern of recent acts of anti-Semitism, both nation wide and here in Boston. Don't know what the intention was of the person, but it's clearly marked as a Jewish student center. The center's leaders say they've been organizing a couple of high profile events recently, daily runs to mark this month's anniversary of a massacre at a synagogue in Pittsburgh and an upcoming speech on campus by reform white supremacist T.M. Garrett. He was a former KKK member who is now an ally to the Jewish people. So I'm not sure if this person who took down the mezuzah was standing you know, with him and what he used to stand for, unfortunately. Campus police have taken surveillance video from a camera that likely caught the incident, and today students gathered near the back door to put up a new mezuzah and to say if someone was trying to intimidate them, it didn't work. Someone took a mezuzah down. We're going to put a hundred new mezuzahs on campus. We're going to put a new one right here, right now. Yeah. So far, no word of any arrest, but in a letter to the campus community, Northeastern's president says campus investigators do not believe that the suspect is connected to the college. Live in Boston, David Munich, WCVB News Center 5.